1. Which of the following platforms is specifically designed to provide MOOCs developed by Indian universities and institutions? Answer. C. Swayam. 2. NKN, National Knowledge Network, is intended to connect which of the following? Answer. C. Universities and Research Institutions. 3. Which digital initiative offers an AI-powered chatbot called SAMU to help learners? Answer. B. Swayam. 4. The key objective of the FOSI project is to Answer. B. Integrate open source software in education. 5. The Vidwan database is primarily meant for Answer. C. Experts and academic professionals. 6. Which of the following is a national repository of open educational resources launched by NCERT? Answer. C. Deeksha. 7. In the context of digital education, what is the primary purpose of the Virtual Labs Initiative by MHRD? Answer. B. Offer remote access to science labs. 8. Which ICT tool allows the creation of interactive e-content and supports flipped learning? Answer. A. Moodle. 9. Which initiative is a part of Digital India to provide 32 DTH educational channels? Answer. C. Swayam Prabha. 10. The primary goal of the EPG Patshala initiative is to Answer. C. Provide postgraduate level e-content. 11. Which of the following best supports blended learning in higher education? Answer. B. Swayam plus classroom instruction. 12. Pragyata guidelines issued by the Ministry of Education relate to Answer. B. Online education during COVID-19. 13. Which platform provides e-content for school education in multiple Indian languages? Answer. B. Deeksha. 14. Which of the following tools supports automatic plagiarism detection in digital submissions? Answer. B. Turunitin. 15. Under NEP 2020, which digital approach is emphasized for inclusive learning? Answer. C. Multilingual digital content. 16. What is the key function of the National Digital Library, NDL, of India? Answer. B. Offer a unified platform for diverse learning resources. 17. Which government initiative encourages faculty to use open source and simulation-based software? Answer. B. FOSI. 18. Which tool is most suitable for developing adaptive assessments in digital education? Answer. B. Socrative. 19. The National Academic Depository, NAD, is designed for Answer. C. Storing academic awards and certificates digitally. 20. Which technology enhances accessibility for visually impaired learners in digital platforms? Answer. C. Screen readers. 21. Blockchain technology in digital education is primarily used for Answer. C. Ensuring tamper-proof certificates. 22. AI in digital education contributes primarily to Answer. C. Adaptive learning and personalized feedback. 23. Which of the following is an example of XR, extended reality, application in education? Answer. C. Virtual dissection labs. 24. Gamification in digital pedagogy mainly serves to Answer. B. Engage learners through rewards and challenges. 25. A key characteristic of learning management systems, LMS, is Answer. C. Integration of teaching, assessment, and tracking. 26. Which body is responsible for quality assurance of MOCs offered on Swayan? Answer. C. National MOCs Coordinator. 27. Under which initiative are digital infrastructure, content, and capacity building integrated for school education? Answer. B. PM Evidya. 28. What does the ARPIT program aim to achieve? Answer. B. Training teachers through online platforms. 29. Which of the following is a key focus of India's digital university launched in 2022? Answer. B. Providing affordable and quality online education. 30. Which one of the following platforms has been developed by IITs and is also used for the GATE exam preparation? Answer. A. NPTEL.